Hi everyone, head shave number five. A um, couple of um, couple of things I'm covering this shave. Um, I've had a, a comment from um, someone called All About Reviews, I think it is, and I'm guessing he's from Pakistan. So, hi, All About Reviews. Um, he's asked me to use a product from Pakistan. Now, the only product that I can find from Pakistan that is readily available over here are the Treat Pl Platinum Blades. So if there's anything else anybody can sort of recommend to me that is easily obtainable in the UK, um, yeah, please don't hesitate to, uh, to let me know what those products are and I'll see if I can get my hands on some and try them out. Um, the other thing is Maya and... Get who? The, oh, I think it's MC Shaves, not DC Shaves, or is it ACDC or MC? Oh, I get confused. <laughs> but we've all been talking about car detailing towels for, um, for face shaving, using using them as face shaving towels. So I've jumped on the bandwagon, and I've got this one. I'll stand back. Um, I got it off Amazon. There's two for I think under a tenner. Uh, 1200 fibers or what a GSM is it I don't know um, so yeah I got one to match the bathroom so uh, yeah so I'm uh, giving that one a go today um, and then in terms of the products as you will probably seen at the beginning uh, I'm using the Gleechy or Glycy or however you pronounce that somebody please let me know how to pronounce that um, that's a glycerin soap um, as a pre-shave. Something different. Um, I had a, a voucher from the body shop for my birthday and I didn't know what to do with it. So I thought, you know what, I'll give something different a try um, from their men's range. And I'm trying maca root and aloe calming icy shave gel. Now I think this is probably a gel that is designed more for the cartridge users than for DE shavers, but I'm gonna give it a spin. So, um, I will follow that up. Uh, by the way, I've got a plan B. Um, if that doesn't really doesn't work, then I have got a tub of the proper stuff down here. So I, I have got a plan B if I'm gonna chicken out of that one. Yeah, so with, uh, Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel, I'm following up the gel with a different gel. It's a post-shave maca root and aloe calming post-shave water gel, again by Body Shop. So um, I thought I'd give that a go. And then I found a tube of this that I haven't used in a while, and that's Bulldog um, Moisturizing Cream. So I'm gonna give that a go. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I've got myself, before I use that cream, I've got myself some Floyd. Um, so I think this is Floyd Black. I saw IMCDB using it and I think he recommended it. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. So brand new bottle, not used yet, not even opened. So, um, so yeah, that comes before the Bulldog. So let's get to it. Um, going to spray the old head, the old dome or solar panel. Ice cold water again. So how's everybody been doing this week? By the way, I have still got the cut from last week, there it is there. Uh, so I don't know whether I'm going to open that up again, but we'll see. Um, put a bit of water on this soap, and off we go. Yeah, so I hope you all had a, a half decent week. It seems a lot of countries now are um, relaxing some of their rules, including the UK, uh, as I think I said last time I was on, but it's become more real now. Um, because the rules have actually kicked in. Um, they haven't kicked in for me because um, I'm in a 
high risk group. So I've got to still maintain the lockdown effectively. I can't even go out for a walk to exercise, you know, or I'm not supposed to. Um, so I can, I've got to be like that until the end of June, I think it is. Um, I think I've just got soap in my eye. So yeah, um, so it doesn't make any difference to me. Um, we'll have to wait and see what what the effect is if it starts to peak again or spike again. So this is the gel. It's quite a liquid gel, so we'll see how this performs. I'm, I'm as you can see from here. That's I've put in a fair bit. Put a bit more in for good measure. And um, we'll give it a go. So straight onto the head. I definitely got some soap in the eye. Oh yeah, I'm using the uh, Razor Rock 400 aluminium handled, I think it is brush. It's still got some weight to it, so I'm not sure whether it's aluminium or not, but this will be an interesting experiment with this gel to see how it performs on my head. Seems to be lathering up okay. Um, I wouldn't normally reach for anything like this to use a DE razor, not even the leaf really. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go. Why not? I, I can't feel anything cooling about it yet. But I'm trying to build a bit of a thicker lather. It feels a little bit thin and it feels like it's dissipating a bit. I mean, maybe I should try and bowl leather with it. I've got a funny feeling this is not designed for the uh, traditional shaving club. It's more for um, more for your cartridge razor. Um, but we shall see. But I can see it's dissipating straight away. It's not really giving me a thick and creamy lather like you get with. Um, so I'm using the leaf, which I will pretty much be using um, all the time for my head. Um, So uh, I'm using the treat blades in here and actually I think these are making a bit of a difference in terms of feel. Um, there's not a lot of feel in this. I've, I asked uh, IMCDB if, what, what he feels and um, as I've said to him, all I feel is that black base plate across the top. I don't really feel any blade, but this feels a little bit different with the different blades in. So it's, I think if I put some feathers in there, it might be... You know that might give me some feed of some feel, but I think I am feeling a bit more blade here. So that's. Yeah, if I go quite slow, I can definitely feel it. It's technique, I guess. Um, it takes a while to learn how to do your head, I guess. And actually... Um, using a razor like this takes some practice. Because it is, it's different. See, it's completely dissipated here. There's no, I haven't shaved here, have I? So, 
and it's gone completely. So if I'm honest, I'm not uh, not a hundred percent confident of this gel. Yeah, I haven't shaved here at all. So that has dissipated completely. It's fine. I mean, in terms of slickness, yeah, there's plenty of slickness there. Um, but the fact that by the time I'd gone from that side to that side, there was no, no uh, lather left. And even in the brush, it's almost disappeared. I mean, there's some there, but I'm going to combine. I'm going to put a little bit of um, the cream into the brush um, just to boost, boost it a bit. So, so yeah, all I'm going to do is put a little bit in. It's not, not a lot, but it should be sufficient to uh, give that lather a boost. And you, hopefully you'll see the difference. So, wet the head. And get this on now. I think this is definitely better, but I still don't think it's up to the normal standard of your macro. But uh, yeah, so that was a bit of a waste of money, that uh, gel. I would use that if I was a cartridge razor, you know, shaver. If I was using carts, I'd use that quite happily, I guess. Um, is it better than other cart foam type things? No idea. <laughs> I haven't used a cart in years, so. I don't know what they're like now. Um, add a bit more water. This is definitely creamier. much better I mean look at that that is it's sort of like chalk and cheese so so it's against the grain now and then pickups so yeah I give that one a miss sorry body shop but that uh, that gel doesn't stand up to the cream in any way shape or form I can feel the difference straight away um, while shaving my head. It's got more protection. Um. Just concentrating on the feel at the moment. I'm definitely feeling a difference between these blades and I think it was Astra Greens I put in last time that come with. I don't know whether you can hear that feedback, but there's a lot of feedback. So. I 
this is a very enjoyable shave now I could definitely but you know that when using the gel I could feel the difference it didn't feel like it was giving me the protection now it does so Soap all over my hands. Yeah, I think these treat blades are very good, very efficient blades. There's three in here. I don't know whether you can see that. So it's interesting. I didn't think it would make that big a difference. But I actually think I prefer the treat blades in this razor to the Astra Greens. And I don't really, I can feel them more, but maybe it's just my te techniques improving. Um, I don't know if I'm honest. But it was an interesting result last time I did a head shave. That against the Mac 3. I thought there'd be a bigger difference, but there wasn't. It was a draw in the end. However, it was definitely a better shave on passes one and two. Um, I know there's a bit left here now, so I've got a bit of pickups to do. Yeah, that's got it. So I'm going to do the um, the lather mitten, is it? Um, so I'm just going to put a load of lather in one hand and go over the old head with that. Just see if I can find this. So there's some spots there. Got it. I must admit this this method works quite well. Got a bit there that I missed. Just you can feel the line. It's quite interesting actually. Where you miss a line. That's it. It's got it. Just making sure I've got everything. A little bit there. Always, it's if there's in your temple area, it's quite difficult to get in there. I've got a bit of a dip, so there's always a bit, it always feels a little bit like there's some hair there on both sides. But anyway, maybe I'll hit that with the DE tomorrow. So tomorrow, as I think you all know, that's done now. That's that's BBS. It's good enough for me. As you all know, tomorrow is uh, the day I try out my new Merca Progress. Um, it's the short version, the travel version, and it comes in a plastic case. case so, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Get this off my head. So nobody last week made any comments regarding whether they prefer to see a head shave or a face shave or which order they'd like it in or so I'm sticking with it at the moment. Still using using this, but more as a flannel. It's not a towel anymore.
just making sure I got all the soap. The one thing I will say about this gel is it is actually quite slick. I mean, it's still very slick on my neck. Um, and I didn't, I don't think I went with my brush all the way down there. So, so yeah, right. So let's, I'm going to go with the alum and see how we go. I don't think I've cut myself. And I would say looking at my towel, there's no blood on there either. So I definitely haven't cut myself. Um, just going to use cold water on my head. We'll see if this new uh, new towel sticks as much after I use alum. <laughs> some stinging there but I have given it quite a thorough pickup so I don't think I've cut myself but it is stinging a bit so I'll turn around and we'll see but it's probably if it has cut then uh, it stopped now but it's stinging just as much here as it is at the back so I don't think I have cut myself So yeah, I'm looking forward to the show tomorrow. New razor. Um, it should be good. I hope that Merca survive. There's rumour that um, their parent company Dovo has uh, gone into administration. I've actually seen the German article in a German newspaper and because I'm pretty good at German I wouldn't say I'm fluent anymore, but I used to, when I used to live out there, I lived there for seven years. Uh, I had Germans actually asking me where I learned my English, <laughs> which I actually found hilarious. Um, but yeah, I did have fairly good German. Um, right, that's that done. I think, oh, I was gonna turn around. Is there any, are there any cuts? I'll see in my video at the end. Um, God, this sticks. I mean, it really, really, when you use alum, it doesn't want to move. You can actually hear my head squeak. <sighs> yeah, I can see the jokes coming now. <clears throat> Get out of the polish. Right, so on with the uh, tea tree and witch hazel. It's got a little bit of a burn, but not much. And I do love the smell of this. I don't know what it is, but I've just, because I've been using it since the beginning, um, it's just something that I've got used to using and a shave isn't a shave without that scent in some respects. I, had, I do use other stuff like the Thayer's Lemon, that's nice. But 90% of the time, I have to admit, I use this tea, Boots Tea Tree in Witch Hazel. Um, and I have to say, um, I love it, I love it. But there are people who don't like the smell of it, so. But as, as many of us shavers say, your mileage may vary, so. Right, um, that's pretty dry. I'm just gonna try and pat it dry a bit. And let's put on the uh, Macaroot and Aloe Calming Post Shave Water Gel. So I'm going to show you what it's like. 
and it is a gel and I'm literally putting that much in um, I don't know whether that's focusing or what it's doing right <laughs> Now that's got quite a, it needs a bit more actually. That has got, I think I can smell the aloe in this. And it's definitely cooling. Not massively, but you can definitely tell. Right. Here comes the good bit. This is where I try the Floyd. That I, you know, I've seen a few shavers used, but I think it was IMCDB saying it was one of his favourites. And I said I was going to get some. It's taken a while to get onto the channel, but because I've had it for about three weeks now, I guess. But yeah, so a bit of Floyd. Put a bit of that on. Oh, that is nice. I haven't had a sneak sniff, sneak sniff, sneak preview. So I just wanted to get my reaction. That's really nice. I have to say, Chris, you'll have to tell me what that scent is based on or whether that's actually its own scent or it's not supposed to mirror a famous scent or anything. But um, yeah, definitely my uh, seal of approval. Very nice. So I'm going to put that back in its box. And store that away for its next use and then the final stage is my bulldog cream which is only that much I still got the cooling effect of the gel that water gel that's that is actually really nice It'd be very good on a hot summer's day So that's it, that's my shave done. Um, so that's head shave number five. Um, so it's good goodbye from me and goodbye from the leaf razor. I'll see you tomorrow for the uh, Merca Progress shave.